Hey guys, my name is James Gabriel. I am a musician uh, originally raised in New Orleans, Louisiana. A beautiful city. Um, uh, now I reside in Colorado and I am making an acoustic album that has been just years in the making um, based on experience. Um, most of my music is medicine to my own ears. You know, it's uh, times where I've, I've spent growing and becoming who I am to this day and uh, learning from my, my loss, my love, my um, mistakes and everything, um, whatever you, your mind can think of. Um, I am just as you are, flesh. So I, I go through times in my life where um, I'm hoping I'm learning from my mistakes, but I have made mistakes over and over. And, and you know, sometimes uh, that's what you have to do so you can understand that what you are doing is not the right, you know, not the right thing. You're not on the right path. So it takes trial and error to become a better person in life. So um, one of the biggest things that's ever helped me through life was when I was able to finally pick up a guitar and learn how to play it and sing at the same time. <laughs> So I've been playing guitar for many, many years and singing since I was a child. Um, but now I am uh, kind of taking it more serious, working on my acoustic album. And uh, I want to share with you the music and lyrics that helps me through my daily uh, life and the changes and reminds me of things that I shouldn't do again or reminds me on a daily basis of things that I still need to do in life and this song specifically the apple tree um, means a lot to me um, over my years I've failed in marriage I failed in relationships I've failed in many different things and um, it, it's hard to talk about but at the same time it's uh, it reminds me of things that I should never do again. And one of the biggest things I should never do is rush in anything, in a relationship, uh, in a job, in opportunities, um, in, unless, you know, it's an opportunity that you just can't pass up. Um, but this song, Apple Tree, is very important to me because it reminds me that I need to step back and, and slow down a bit sometimes, or most of the time in life, and analyze and observe and, uh, learn, you know, learn if this is, or see if this is something that I really want to be involved in. And one of the best ways to do that is if you feel a certain way in a relationship or anything of that nature, a job, anything, um, step back, analyze it, vet what you're getting into and to understand if it's something that you really do want. And, and if it's not just lust, um, if it's true love, it's true love. And uh, how could you even have true love without God being involved? You know, um, I've tried that, failed and failed and failed. But this song, let me, let me break it down for you really quick. Uh, it's, it's real simple, you know, it starts off with, I am love, love is me. That's one of the most important things I could ever say daily um, because I want to love me. I want to be love and I want love to be me. And as I give love, I want the love to return properly, you know? So it's really important. I am love, love is me. Um, we're taking little bites from the apple tree is basically stating um, the obvious in a sense, make up whatever you want to. Um, but to me, it means um, I'm interested or uh, I'm, I'm interested in a relationship or let's just cut it as in a relationship. I'm interested in a relationship. And I think that it's uh, stating, hey, we're both taking bites from this apple tree. Uh, what is this? Where is it going to go? And then I, I state, I'm giving you the space if that's what you need. Um, it's very important. We all need space. I don't know if you're going to try to kid yourself and believe that you should be up your partner's butt all the time, but no, that's not how it goes. If someone needs space, you need to give them space because they might need things to work out. Um, they might have, have things that they need to work out in order for them to have a better relationship with you. Obviously, they need space. They need to clear their mind of whatever it might be. So giving you the space that you need, super important. And me stating, I'll supply the air for you to breathe. That's very important. That's reassuring that partner, I'll wait. That uh, it, it's, it's great to wait because waiting is what builds the anticipation for true love. You know, it's like if you can't wait when someone wants you to wait, then they're not the true love you're looking for, or maybe you're not even ready to give true love because you don't even know who yourself is, um, which is most important to you. If you can't love yourself, then how could you give love to anyone else if you don't understand love at all? 
Um, most important, you need to give love to yourself and love to God before you can give love to anyone else. So stating the obvious there, I'll, I'll supply you the air so you can breathe is really important. Giving your lover, whoever it might be that you're interested in, uh, space to be able to make their own solid decisions on their own. And uh, going into the second line of that verse is, um, it, it's again self-explanatory. I'll be turning on the light so you can see, and that's like a signal, a beacon to say, I'm here and I'll light your path, but I'll be here, way over there, lighting your path. And the, uh, the blinking of my sign says no vacancy is very important that no matter what comes my way, I'm not gonna be vacant for anyone else. I'm gonna wait for you. And uh, also it's a double meaning. Um, if I'm gonna be here giving you space and waiting for you, I'm expecting kind of the same. And it's another thing saying that if you aren't reciprocating the same feelings that I am, then there will be no vacancy when you try to come back to me. Um, because, you, I mean, someone can wait forever if you want to, but if, if the true love that God has for you in mind does show up in between those times um, and it's just taking too long of a period, then there will be no vacancy and then you will miss out. So that no vacancy is super important. Um, but moving on into the chorus, you know, it's uh, I am love, love is me, hard work. There's nothing in this world that's free. It's super important to for love, even love for yourself, man. You, you've got to work very, very hard to have love for yourself. If you can't work hard, hard enough to have love for yourself, how can you ever work hard enough to give love to someone else properly? And, you know, I might have someone who thinks differently about that when, when I say this, especially people that I've been involved with in my life. You know, it's okay to feel the way you do. Um, bitterness only gets you so far. So it, it's best to... Uh, let go of what was in life and live in the present and push forward on learning from your mistakes, uh, your failed past, your failures, whatever it might be, and learn how to love properly. But again, you can't love if you can't love yourself. So I am love, love is me, hard work, that nothing in the world is free. And then I am love, love is free. There's no price tag that you can put on what you get from me is stating the obvious, I am ready to love. And so it's really important for um, my partner, whoever it might be, uh, in explaining the song is like, I'm ready to give full love to the right person. So that's exactly what it is in the song. I'm not gonna hide it. Um, and then, you know, it goes into a little bridge where it's really silent. What do you want from me? Um, just a bite from the apple tree. I'm wondering, I'm like, are, am I just a toy? You know, are you just like wanting to see who I am for a minute and then move on? You know, and that's that's vital. It's really important for the person who is willing to sacrifice everything else that's there in their life to wait and give love to the right person and build that true love. It's really important to know that the other person reciprocates and feels the same way because if they don't feel the same, then you feel like you're gonna be giving away um, precious time that you could be uh, giving to someone else that may deserve it. So that line is really important. And then back to the chorus again, it explains exactly the obvious. I am love, love is me, hard work, nothing in this world is free. It's, I just wanna make that very, you know, I, I wanna project that so it's known that those lines are super important. The song may be simple, but it says a lot. And hopefully you can gain whatever you gain from with this song. Um, but to me, it's a beautiful song and it helped me. Um, it's my medicine, and I have a lot more medicine that I've used on myself that I'm gonna be sharing very soon in my album coming up, and it's gonna be called Imagine That, so keep an eye out. And uh, this video that's coming out for this song, it's gonna be awesome, so keep an eye out for that too. Um, be sure to like and share. Uh, thank you so much for your time, guys. My name is James Gabriel. Um, um, be with love and peace, and I hope uh, if you haven't found the love for yourself yet, that you find deep, mad, meaningful love with yourself and God. And I promise you, everything else will fall in suit. So peace and love, y'all.